हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई बी टेकिंग नेक्स्ट केस दैट इज अ फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय अ जेट ऑफ वाटर ऑन अ सीरीज ऑफ कर्ड विंस ऑन अ सीरीज ऑफ कर्ड विंस एंड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय अ सिंगल कर्ड विन when the jet was striking at the center and the vane was moving okay so like this if this is the impeller of the turbine it is coupled with the shaft if suppose a single vane is mounted like this and the jet is striking with a velocity v at the center of the vane and only one vane is present on impeller when the jet strikes this starts moving in this direction okay in this case we have obtained the efficiency generated by the jet this was 60% we have seen in a previous lecture and we have obtained the efficiency okay but what happens in this case so the force exerted by the jet on a single moving curved plate actually it is not practically feasible only by having a only a single vane on a impeller we cannot uh, achieve the required efficiency of the uh, or required uh, uh, power and what happens this case is only a theoretical case because in this case what happens the distance between the plate and the uh, nozzle that is a nozzle provided for the uh, jet will be con constantly increasing at the rate of u per second which in turn would require a continuous lengthening of the jet which in turn required the continuous lengthening of the jet at this rate at this rate uh, in order to strike the plate so this difficulty however may overcome so whatever the difficulty we are we were having here uh, that may be overcome by having a uh, instead of a single vane so if we have a series of vanes mounted on the uh, uh, impeller like this so there is a there is a continuous series of plates arranged at a fixed distance apart these are at a fixed distance apart so that each plate moving with a velocity u so that each plate moving with a velocity u and uh, further what happens here that when the jet strikes a plate and due to the force exerted by the jet on the plate the wheel starts moving the moment it strikes the vane it moves forward with a velocity u and then the next blade will come and stand before the jet again it also receives the force from the jet that also moves with the velocity u again the third blade will come and stand before the jet that also receives the force again it moves forward this will continue hence a continuous uh, rotation of the impeller will takes place and when it continuously starts rotating it is coupled with the shaft then the shaft in turn coupled with the uh, generator hence the production of electricity but in this case what happens so there is a continuous of uh, there is no continuation of or a continuous rotation of the impeller will takes place once the jet strikes it may move and come and stand over here and it may it may come or it may not come so in this case the efficiency of the jet will be less here we cannot achieve the required one 
so this case is only theoretical case it is not practically feasible to overcome that one so next arrangement will be like this a series of vanes mounted on the periphery of the impeller like this okay so in this case we get the continuous rotation of the impeller So let us consider this case. Consider a jet of water of velocity v and having a jet diameter d, jet diameter d, striking the vane at the center, and the vane is moving with a velocity u. Okay. So let us derive the equation for this one. There is a force exerted by a jet of water on a series of curved vanes okay so this is very very important and uh, this is practically feasible also by having uh, this kind of vanes actually that uh, on uh, if you look at the turbines that is a peloton wheel turbine the series of vanes will be mounted over the impeller like this and uh, the force receiving by the vanes one by one uh, that is the the jet striking the vein the vein will move forward then the next blade will come and stand before the jet that also receives so this will continue hence the force is being uh, that is the energy is being transferring from the veins to the impeller impeller to the shaft shaft to the generator hence the production of elect electricity will takes place so in this figure there is always one vein as the other one vein or uh, as the other facing the jet and the entire fluid is being utilized here so the mass of water striking up per second equals in this case the amount of mass of water striking so what happens here in this case in this case the mass of water coming the mass of water coming out from the nozzle coming out from the nozzle per second and is always always in contact with in contact with the plates that is mass of whatever the mass of what is coming out of the nozzle is always in contact with the plates because one by one one by one the veins are receiving the jet but here the jet make contact or may not contact with the vein because once it strikes it goes on moving and it uh, lengthening of the jet may takes place here so at after certain time the jet may strike or may not strike in this case okay so contact with the plates when all the plates are all the plates are considered and all the plates are considered hence mass of water per striking mass of water mass of water strikes per plate mass of water strikes per second can be written as per second mass of water strikes per second on a series of plates on a series of plates can be given as rho av okay 
ये रोडोटिक रो है मास पर सेकेंड दिस इज मास ऑफ वाटर स्ट्राइकिंग पर सेकेंड लेट वी रिप्रेजेंट वेलॉसिटी ऑफ जेट वेलॉसिटी ऑफ जेट देन डी रिप्रेजेंट्स डया ऑफ जेट देन ए कैन बी रिटर्न एज बाय बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर एरिया ऑफ द जेट एंड यू विल बी वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द वेन वेलॉसिटी ऑफ वेन देन further if we apply impulse momentum equation for this one if you apply impulse momentum equation here applying impulse momentum equation in the direction of jet impulse momentum equation then the force exerted by the jet in the direction of jet that is in x direction it is a force exerted in this let us think this is a x direction the force exerted by the jet on the vein in x direction can be uh, analyzed by using the impulse momentum equation here so i am applying impulse momentum equation you know the impulse momentum equation that is fx equal to rate of change of rate of change of momentum in the direction of jet in the direction of jet so that is mass per second into initial velocity minus final velocity so further we solve so fx equal to mass per second will be taken rho av so remember in in series of veins we have to take rho av but it if it is a single vein we have taken relative velocity there so but here you have to take the absolute velocity rho av into bracket initial velocity will be what again initial velocity the jet is striking with a velocity v the vein is moving with a velocity u but in this case initial velocity taken that is v minus u okay because vein is also moving jet is also moving both are moving we have to take the relative velocity as the initial velocity so that is v minus u then plus v minus u into cos theta because why cos theta so look this thing again it is striking at the center here when it is striking the jet will exert like this then if you resolve this one if this is making an angle of theta here it is this component this if this is striking at this but this at the vein the velocity is v minus u initial velocity and the final velocity again it is leaving with a velocity of v minus u so like this it is the jet is striking like this it is v minus u this is also v minus u If you take this as angle theta, this component is v minus u cos theta. Okay, then v minus u plus v minus u cos theta. If you solve this one, you will get rho a rho a v v minus u. Rho a v v minus u v 
प्लस v माइनस यू कॉस थीटा इफ यू टेक इट आउट रो ए v v माइनस यू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा यू गेट लाइक दिस ओके देन वर्क डन पर सेकेंड वर्क डन पर सेकेंड वी नो द फॉर्मूला फोर्स इन टू वेलासिटी ऑफ प्लेट द फोर्स इज ऑलरेडी वे कैलकुलेट दिस वन दिस इज द फोर्स एक्सर्टिंग बाय द जेट देन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू रो ए वी वी माइनस यू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा इन टू वेलासिटी ऑफ प्लेट देन नेक्स्ट एफिशियंसी ऑफ द जेट Efficiency of the jet, that is eta. Then efficiency of the jet can be calculated. That is work done per second divided by kinetic energy per second. That is output by input. So input what we are giving here? Input we are giving kinetic energy. That is kinetic energy of the jet. That is the input, and the output work done. So that is output. Then. You know how to calculate the kinetic energy of the jet. Kinetic energy per second will be per rho a v cube, half rho a v cube. Then work done per second. Already we have calculated work done per second. Substitute this one here. Rho a v v minus u one plus cos theta into u divided by half rho a v cube. then into 100 you will get the efficiency so this is the efficiency equation then now we have to calculate what is the maximum efficiency if you solve this one further you will get 2 v minus u into u divided by v square then we get 1 plus cos theta as the equation into 100 we simplify this one further we get this equation then for the maximum efficiency the maximum efficiency we know d eta by du equal to 0 so this if if this is to be maximum we differentiate this equation with respect to the velocity of the plate so the efficiency of the jet depends upon the velocity of the plate differentiate with respect to u so when you differentiate with respect to u so if i take it the constant terms out that is 2 by v square into 1 plus cos theta then i have to differentiate only d by du v minus u into u is equal to 0 this term that is 2 by v square 1 plus cos theta it cannot be zero okay so you can you cannot make it is a zero so you take it out that is v minus u into u differentiate with respect to u then apply the product rule here then differentiate so when we get t by du v minus u Into u is equal to zero. If I differentiate this equation, then what I get u by first v minus u into one, then plus u. Then differentiation of this will be minus one. Then what you get is equal to zero. Then v minus u minus u equal to zero. then v equal to we get a 2u from this what i get v plus 2u sorry v minus 2u then i'll get a v equal to 2u or u equal to v by 2 hence hence For a maximum efficiency, maximum efficiency of the jet 
maximum efficiency of the jet or maximum efficiency of the wheel you can see it is a wheel maximum efficiency of the wheel the peripheral speed the peripheral speed that is u peripheral speed means u that is this one peripheral speed means this peripheral speed it depends upon the velocity of the wing speed is one half of the velocity of the jet one half of the velocity of the jet substituting the value of u in this equation substitute that value of u in this equation say equation number 1 substitute substitute u equal to v by 2 in equation 1 therefore maximum efficiency what we get if we substitute 2 into v minus v by 2 divided by v square into v by 2 1 plus cos theta if you simplify this one you will get half simplify this one you will get half 1 plus cos theta this is the maximum efficiency for a series of wings so if you again into multiply you get 100 percent efficiency so when theta is 90 degree so it becomes a flat wing when theta is 90 degree means suppose theta is 90 degree efficiency will become when cos 90 is cos 90 is 0 then half is 0.5 0.5 into 100 you'll get efficiency as a 50% when theta is 180 degree this is for semicircular wing efficiency you get when theta is 180 degree or 0 degree 180 degree or 0 degree so if for 0 degree what is cos 0 cos 0 is 1 then you will get a 100% efficiency means if suppose if theta becomes 90 degree means when the jet strikes at the center the jet will deflect at an angle of 90 degree like this that is theta okay if jet is zero means if it is a curved wing like this and the jet is striking then the after striking the jet will deflect like this it comes out with an angle of 0 degree so this is possible only in a semicircular type of wings if the jet is striking like this and leaving by making an angle of 0 degree when it becomes a zero if you substitute the value of that theta here here you will get 100% efficiency means so to achieve 100% of efficiency we have to have a uh, wings on a impeller like this circular wings or uh, uh, semi circular wings like this so by having a semi circular wing we can achieve the 100% of efficiency okay so that is been proved here okay when the jet strikes it leaves by an, making an angle of 0 degree like this okay this is semi circular wing like this and the jet strikes after striking the water will glide over the surface like this then it will exit like this then the it uh, suppose this is v minus u but it is making an angle of 0 here okay so when theta is G one eighty or zero degree. It means semicircular vein, and the efficiency will be maximum. That is hundred percent. When the efficiency is maximum, when the vein velocity becomes half the jet velocity, 
then you will get the 100% efficiency this is very very important derivations it is many times asked in the exam very very important this derivation many times it is asked in the exam so this is uh, <coughs> that is a deriving expression for force exerting by a jet in a series of wings so i'll show you this question paper in this in this particular question paper they asked the single wing prove that that is show that the efficiency of that is a jet of water striking a symmetrical moving curved wing at the center the maximum efficiency for a semi circular wing is 8 by 27 1 plus cos theta this is for a single wing so like this a series of wing is also been asked in exam so that is i'll show you here here in this particular problem here they asked to okay, care show that maximum efficiency of the jet striking a series of curved wings moving in the direction at an angle pi with a velocity u is maximum is equal to 1 plus cos pi by 2 okay that's the same we have derived here 1 plus huh, 1 by 2 1 plus cos theta okay. 1 plus cos theta by 2 into 100 that is the efficiency so this derivation is very very important so you have to remember only thing is uh, in this case the mass of water striking per second will be taken rho a v but in a single when we have taken this term rho a v minus u okay so there the entire water was not been utilized Com that is completely here the entire quantity of water is utilizing completely because when we consider all veins together so when the jet is striking then the, this vein moves forward again the next blade will come and stand before the jet so uh, uh, this uh, impeller wind impeller will be completely in rotation uh, hence the generation of power here okay so please practice this derivation this is very very important okay so only thing you have to apply the impulse momentum equation here so after applying impulse momentum equation finally you have to derive the maximum efficiency for getting a maximum efficiency you have to differentiate the efficiency with respect to the vane velocity so then you get the equation that is the velocity of the vane will is equal to half the jet velocity then substitute back in equation then you will get the maximum efficiency then finally if theta equal to 90 degree that becomes the flat vane case if theta is 0 degree or 180 degree it becomes semicircular vane then you will get the maximum efficiency as 100 percent so 0 degree means when the jet is striking and leaving an angle of zero degree like this so if such kind of veins are being provided on the periphery of the impeller so definitely we can achieve the hundred percent of efficiency if we have flat veins if it is deflecting by an angle of 90 degree so we cannot achieve hundred percent efficiency we can achieve only 50 percent efficiency means 50 percent of the jet may not be striking the uh, vein we can say the 50 percent will get waste Okay. so in this case so we can achieve 100% of efficiency
hope you understood this one so practice this derivation thank you